We're in the street of Lagos this afternoon and we're going to be discussing how the Okara ban has been affecting the whole of Lagosians. As for me, it has been affecting me really much because I have to leave my house three hours before I get to work. And most times when I get to when I sit down on the bus, I'll sit down like this. Three fat women will press me, press, press me. Look on Abi, Abi, has he not been affecting? I'm affecting everybody. Okay, now I'm going to be talking to this man and asking him how he feels. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. What's your name and what do you do? Uh, my name is Godwin. I work in the media house. How has the Okara ban been affecting you? It's really affecting people. Even as you can see now, I'm coming from somewhere. I'm even looking for a canopy if I will see to take to where I'm going to. I've been trekking all the way from Kaja on that bridge there down here. Still, no, nothing to take, no bike, nothing, nothing, as they ban the bike. Do you want them to come back to the street of Lagos? Uh, if it will be possible. If it will be possible, you want yeah. them to come back? Yeah. How do you feel about the Okada ban? How has it been affecting you? Well, I don't think it's a good idea banning the Okada, considering the amount of people that are trekked, that are not mobile. And everybody cannot be, you know, mobile. So it involves a lot of trekking. It makes things clumsy, trekking under the sun. and. You know. So do you want the Okada people to come back? I want them to come back. They should come back. And it's a source of living for them. They should come back. You can see me sweating. I can see. Yeah. So, over five, ten minutes, I've been walking on the road with the hope that I'll see Okada or Keke. The worst is that there is no Keke, you know? And, um, you know, if you must board something, you have to stop a taxi. And, you know the cost, so it's really biting. Do you want the Okada people to come back to the street of Lagos? It's a hard question. Well, truth is this. If the government... I, I would have preferred the government to put something down, something in place, before they ban Okada. Like a substitute? Yes, like a substitute. Um, Keke would have been a, a better alternative. At least you can't go robbery with Keke. You know, but how many are we seeing? There are a few of them. You know, but... Saying Okada should come back, uh, my sister, I know that it's biting, but it, re it reduced the level of robbery. How do you feel about the ban of Okada? Well, I have no problem with that. I think it's, um, it's a step in the right direction. So you've been hoping they'll ban Okada before now? Uh, not really, but now that it's, it, um, it came, there's no problem. I don't have any problem with it. It's not affected in any way? Um, of course, you'll be affected if you're not driving, sort of. But I think um, it has more advantages than disadvantages. So what are a few advantages? Of course, you see the accidents that occur every now and again. Um, the robberies that happen, especially at night, the snatching of bags and all that. So I think those are the few disadvantages. And the advantages is just that you get to your destination fast. Um, in the case where you can't use, um, where your car can't get you to, just helps you. Get there fast. Do you want them to come back to the street of Lagos? Of course not. How has the Okara ban been affecting you? Seriously, it's not. As I mean, I'm coming from Unity Road. As I mean, there is a bike. I will have taken a bike down to Okwebi. So, do you want them to come back to the street of Lagos? I'm not saying that. Because the, the, the accidents on the road have been reduced. As in, like, it, it has reduced a lot. Well, if the accident was going to be subsided, you would have wanted them to come back? Sure, sure, sure. All right. Think it's a good idea. So do you think it's a good idea they're off the road? Sure, it's a good idea. You don't mind walking under the sun? Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> well, obviously, you found a way out because you uh, are yeah, on... I just decided getting a bicycle and start using bicycle. So you start so, using your bicycle? Uh, yes, I use my bicycle. You use a bicycle to where? To many places. To many, it's only the highlands I don't go to. On the bike? Yeah, on the bike. Anywhere on the lowland, I go with my bicycle. And it's comfortable and suitable yeah, for Very, you. very good. Even the hold-up doesn't affect me at all, even with the traffic. Do you encourage people to ride now, since there is no bike? Uh, since there is no bike, uh, which we know as a cat out, so they can just do the same thing I did. How much does your bicycle cost? I yeah, mean, I got this for 15000 15000 uh, Yeah, it wasn't new. I got it, uh, they call it Tukumbo, so I got it. I got it for 15000 how has your car ban been affecting you? It's very bad, well, because before we could get to school, it's going to be very late because of the traffic. So if it's okay, if you board on car and if there's traffic, your car can find a way to get out of traffic. So it's very bad. So do you want them to come back? 
So why not? Well, to be sincerely, uh, the Okada band has been a very big problem here in Lagos. As you can see, I'm trekking now. There's no where you can see moto, and many people are trekking and people are jump at the at the bus, uh, the uh, uh, this thing there over there. So we can, you can see me. I'm trekking and sweating up and down. So the Okada band has been a very big problem too, especially we that have been uh, trending up and down and all. So, in fact, it's a big problem to us now and a big challenge. The, the security aspect, more especially in some fact, in fact, even here, you like you see that uh, they are using Okada and other to commit so many nefarious uh, crime. So I think government has taken a very good step in doing that action. You don't want them to come back? At all. I don't want them to come back.